after the primary industry, uh, second point is secondary industry. Under this industry, new products are manufactured by using the uh, previously produced thing. Producing cotton is a primary industry and manufacturing flows out of the cotton is the secondary industry. Any two types. Okay. In secondary industry, what we do? The things we get from the primary industry, we use them and we modify these things and manufacture what? Single manufacturing, like uh, we are getting the cotton from the primary industry. For primary industry, give us cotton because cotton come from the farming. So farming is the primary activity. So prime, uh, when we get the cotton, uh, cotton from the primary industry, so what we do? We are manufacture a flow. We uh, manufacture flows from this cotton and uh, make them useful by the secondary. What does secondary industry do? They use the primary industry's raw material and uh, manufacture on uh, manufacturing the things. That's why we call them secondary industry. It is included in two types. Firstly, we are discussing about the first point of the first uh, type of the secondary industry that is manufacturing. What thing is manufacturing? These industries convert the raw material or semi finished product means they are using the raw material and semi finished means half finished product into the finished product. And what they do? They are doing the manufacturing on them and prepare the whole but the they finish the product. Example paper from the bamboo. From the bamboo, they prepare the paper. Sugar from the sugar cane, they can use the sugar cane. Sugar cane is a uh, source of primary industry and sugar cane. And after that, we prepare the sugar from it. So, it is the manufacture thing to sugar. It is a further demand. Now, this manufacturing industry is also divided into sub part. Four part is uh, uh, there in manufacturing. We are discussing about the manufacturing industry. So, manufacturing industries have four parts. First part is analytics. Different things are manufactured out of one material like uh, we are using one material, we are used one material and from that one material we are making different different things from that material that is called the analytical like this like uh, petrol, diesel, gasoline out of crude oil. We are using the crude oil and uh, when we are mixing the crude oil we, we get from that crude oil, petrol, we get diesel and gasoline from same crude oil means the thing is only crude oil and we get the three things from the crude oil. So it is called the analytical means we are using only one uh, product and from that product we are making different different products. So it is called analytical. Now, our second point is processing. Those industries where the useful things are manufactured means we are using, we are making useful things in this, in this industry by making the raw material pass through means we pass through the raw material in different production process means we send the raw material in different different uh, machineries and we, they process on them and then we can become the finished good. Like steel from the iron ore, we make the steel from the iron ore. Iron ore so in this, the iron ore passes in many processes, and after that we get in the steel and sugar and paper industries like that. Firstly, uh, we are talking about the sugar cane. So firstly, we uh, uh, brought the sugar cane raw material, and we process it and send that uh, raw material different different. Uh, processing machines after that we get the sugar like that we are, uh, we are talking about the paper so we uh, we are getting the paper from the thing the first three uh, three here and we are doing send this freeze in a different different process or last we get the paper so we are uh, the process we are doing to making the thing useful in a finished good that is called processing now our third point is synthetic, uh, synthetic. many raw materials are Mix to produce more useful product means we are uh, mixing the raw materials means we are using the different different uh, type of raw material and mix them and getting the uh, and getting the more useful means we are making make them more useful product from them like paint the paints we are using the different different samples and uh, make the paints they are uh, different colors the cosmetics are there the cement colors 
if they are in the they are the synthetic processes we are getting the different different raw material and mix the that raw material to make the useful product that is called synthesis now assembly assembly where in the part manufactured by different industries are assembled to produce new useful product means what they are doing in assembly we are getting the produced part means all the prepare prepare part we are using uh, and make the uh, finish would be we are assemble all the thing and make the and produce a useful product means uh, like a uh, computer so we are getting the motherboard from other other uh, company we are getting the keyboard from other companies so what we are at last we are assemble all the things and make a computer so we make the useful product from assembly the thing we are not Processing anything, we are not making manufacturing anything in it. We are just uh, purchasing the things from the other industry and assemble them and prepare the useful product. That is like a computer, watches, cars, television, etc. These are called the assembling uh, assembling industry. Now these are uh, all are the part of the manufacturing industry. We are discuss about the construction industry. There are three type of industry. Manufacturing uh, uh, we are taking primary industry now, construction industry. Industries that are involved in the construction of building means the construction, the industries where those who are doing the construction work. Construction we have work means uh, build the building, uh, make the uh, build the bridges, dams, roads, as well as tunnels, canals. Those who are uh, construct the things that is for the construction industry. Now, third point is the topic of the uh, service industry. Means they are doing the services services to the industry. Include those services and which kind of services are coming, including dams which uh, help business to move smoothly. These uh, are the activities that support the business for uh, growing the smoothly. Like transport, transport helps the uh, business to uh, produce the cost to getting the raw material from the street to our industry and uh, distribute it in the British food to the market. So transportation is an important tool. It is important for now bank. What the bank? The bank giving us funds for man, for our industry. Insurance, if there is any mishapping, if there is a fire, fire and natural disaster, so insurance company pay amount for our losses. Now storage and IPDC also. It includes storage means if we are manufacturing so our product and production was uh, very production is high and uh, the consumer demand is uh, that time is less. That time what we do? We store the things in warehouse. So it provides the warehouse and we have the production we are doing the uh, goods we are preparing the product we are preparing. So the advertising is important role for that because without an advertising no customer would know about our product. So every industry and services these are doing the work to support our industry to going the smooth amount. So these are the industries. Now our second point is industry. after industry our second point is commerce. So first thing we have to know what is the meaning of commerce? Means commerce refers to all those activities which are concerned with the transfer of goods and services from the producer to the consumer. Means commerce are the activities which is done for the for making the manufacturing the things and a producer to apple and sends the things from producer to consumer. Means from the the owner to producer the industry so who are making the product and from the, the person who use that product that is for the consumer. It involves all those activities which are necessary for maintaining a free flow of goods and services and it is helps to go a smooth to maintain the flow in goods and services means clients and without any break the customer gets their product and produce the producer those who are producing the product they can produce their product. It helps 